worry can weigh a person down, but an encouraging word cheers a person up. Cornish's cheer focuses on personal development and hopes to impart cheer based on the principles of fairness, compassion, and commitment. Hello everyone, I'm Hola Williams. Welcome to today's episode. Today, I'm starting a series I've termed Be Kind or Be Nice. Kind. Some of the words that come to me when I think of kind are considerate, generous, helpful. Nice, when I think of this word, some words that come to me are enjoyable, pleasant, agreeable. When someone is being nice, they tend to agree with you, wouldn't you say? So are there situations where kindness is preferred to niceness? And if there are, are these situations more? And so should kindness dominate our experiences more? This is an area I am researching because I believe kindness can make our lives more meaningful. But I, I also believe there is tendency to confuse kindness with niceness. I actually strongly believe a lot of us confuse the two and that's why I see some people going into like defense mode when you're talking about kindness. I, I think people are confusing it with niceness and that's why I'm researching this area. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to people trying to understand the psychology of kindness and niceness. So, like I said, that's maybe that's why we don't see as much actions demonstrating kindness as we should because people are confusing the two. So, a story I heard intrigued me, and here goes the story. There was a lady named Pat. Pat was on a queue to be attended to in a service area. There were three tellers, namely Kim, Roger, and Shane. Pat prefers Kim to attend to her. She's known Kim for a while, and she feels more comfortable around her. So when it was her turn to make the move to be served, she told the ne person, you know, next in line to her on the queue to go to the next available teller because Kim was still attending to another customer. So the next available teller happens to be Roger. So Pat kept on waiting. Roger attended to this customer. Then Shane was available. Remember, Shane is another teller. The three tellers are Kim, Roger, and Shane. Now, Pat prefers Kim, so she's waiting for Kim. Kim is attending to a customer. He's taking longer than anticipated, but Pat doesn't mind. She's waiting. So... Every other person on the queue behind Pat, Pat is asking them to go be, to be served by maybe Roger or Shane as the two of them become available. So it so happened that while Pat was doing this, Roger and Shane had served about eight different customers in, in a time span of about maybe 25 minutes as the story goes, and Pat kept on waiting. Now, was Pat being fair to herself by waiting? 
another question. Was she fair to the organization she was working for? And was she even fair to her teammates, the other tellers? Was she fair to Roger and Shane by that action? We tell our little ones to take turns. Why? Because it's deemed helpful. Helpful to, the, to the, our little ones as this action promotes order. Plus, it's the civil thing to do. Taking turns also, it's helpful to others on the queue as it demonstrates respect of their time. And that's why we tell our little ones to do this. Is, is that not why? I think Pat wanted to be served to her liking, which is not a bad thing in itself, but when considered from the lens of other people in that service area, can we say she wanted to have a nice time as opposed to being kind? So you see the difference? I would like to summarize by saying the one who wants to be served to his or her liking, is merely wanting to have a nice time. It is the one who takes turns with consideration for others while being served that is being kind. That's um, something for us to think about on the next episode. Let's remember, let's continue to learn together and be encouraged to keep on connecting. Bye for now. Nothing in this podcast is intended to serve as life, career, health, or financial advice. Personal circumstances, as we all know, are quite different. So you are encouraged to do your own research. And remember, let's continue to learn together and be encouraged to keep on connecting.